Lopez, thanks for joining me. Yep, that's me in front of the camera, like I've been most of my life. I used to work on a show called Kids Incorporated, and then I went on to work on a show called Saved by the Bell, which still runs today. And I've hosted everything from kids shows, shows about sports, and now I'm hosting an entertainment show. Work's been good over the years, and it's allowed me to live the ultimate bachelor life. Traveling the world, going to celebrity events, able to do what I wanted, when I wanted. So when I decided to work on a Broadway musical in New York, I had no idea it would change my life forever. But it did, because that's where I met Miss Courtney Maza. Him asking me to go out for the first time was an ongoing process for about a month. So it was kind of like, got to a point where I felt bad for him. Oh my so. God. Oh, you, 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 it was a sympathy date? Thanks a lot. But he was, of course, very handsome and very charming. I remember you had on like the red top. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Cut two. We now have a new house, a new dog. Julio Cesar Chavez Lopez, a new baby on the way. A lot going on. With only three months before the birth, I know my countdown to fatherhood has begun. The baby, oh my gosh. But me being a dad hasn't really sunk in yet. Outfit, they're like hanging out naked, you put them in a towel? No. Now don't get me wrong, I'm excited and I know everything in my life's about to change, but how it's gonna change, that part I don't know yet. your favorite stars and why we love them. You think you were a professional or something? Thank you, Petiti. Do you got my stuff? Yeah. Here's your phone, your keys are in your office. I feel bad, because poor Masa is moving everything. All by herself? <laughs> yeah, I don't mean to laugh. I feel bad just because, you know, I shoot it extra five or six days a week, so I couldn't be with Masa the day we were supposed to be moving in. And I'm just learning how to balance all my work commitments with a family on the way, and it's not easy. I gotta wait, get wait, in the wait. car and go. We have to go over a bunch of stuff before you go. Um, Esterman wants to know when the video drop for your appearance next week is gonna be done. Just tell him that I'll have it done tomorrow. The JR will have it in the prompt. Okay. Make sure I shoot that. Okay, okay, and we need to schedule your flight for New York for uh, next week. Right, let's go over the rest right. tomorrow, I promise. Okay, we have I'll a from the car. I'll try. to go over. Okay, bye. So we're moving into our new house, everything's a mess, and we're supposed to spend our first night there. Masa was basically dealing with everything, and I felt bad, I wish I could have been there, but I had to work. Oh, is that mine? But I thought that was his. So I call Masa, Masa, because when I saw this beautiful Italian girl and I thought, wow, she's gotta have an exotic Italian name like Isabella or Sophia. And then when she said, hi, I'm Courtney, I said, oh. So I said, I can't call her Courtney. I just can't do it. I could never see myself with the Courtney, you know. Well, you sorry. better change that attitude. Yeah. Us. I said, I'm just gonna go with Masa, which is her last name. Hi. Hi, babe. What are you doing? Just getting done with work. I'm over here right now. Do you mind picking up something for dinner? Because there's no way I can cook in this kitchen. It's filthy. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, thanks. Hey, 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 wait. Can you bring toilet uh, paper? Toilet paper? Yes, please. Just steal okay. it from extra. That's ghetto, but all right. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Someone in there? This is bad. This is bad. <laughs> Damn, what do they do to these things? Wait, I can't take this one. It's the only one I got there. Oh my god. Oh, this mad hunt for toilet paper. I can't believe it. Wait, I can improvise. I know what I need. I'm gonna take one of these. What do you need? I'm gonna borrow some Kleenex. Kleenex will suffice. <laughs> Ah. 
looking good. It looks Hi. good. Look at everything you did. Hi. You like it? Yeah, look at you. Working hard. I got you Kleenex. <laughs> Is that cool? Will it, will it do? Yes. It's soft. It's better than paper towels. Right? Paper towels. I would have been real ghetto. This is nice. Let's check it out. I like it. See, you got you, you you kept it Spanish and masculine. Good job. Good job. Good job. And the, All right. Masa is a great compliment to my life. I balance you. You need me in your life. You're very um, OCD and you want everything perfect all the time. And I'm very calm. I bring the zen into your life, I think. You know what I was thinking about today, which is a trip? Is that the baby might come out left-handed. Because my grandfather is left-handed, and my dad, you know, he's got four brothers. Mm -hmm. Three of them are left-handed. And if it's a girl and it's left-handed, I don't know why, but that, to me, that comes across masculine. Is that weird? Why? No, I don't know. Left-handed girls trip me out. It just looks weird. They, 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 <laughs> the, the, the hand, the way it is, and... Is that a weird thing? Babe. I was just thinking, I mean, poor thing. Am I weird for that? Absolutely. When's the next doctor's appointment? Today. What do you say? Just a normal checkup, everything was fine. I tried to look again today. You can't cheat. I'm not gonna be able to see anything. So this is something that we've been arguing and arguing about over and over. She wants to know the sex, I don't. You promised me we were gonna I can't see anything. How guilty would you feel if you found out before? I can't see anything. And we've never come to a conclusion. Honey, what's up with the shoes? I thought I was gonna get this section right here. That's the section you designated to me. No, you were supposed to get the little section because you were gonna have the section all on the top and then I gave you that whole side. I mean, I don't understand like the system you got going on here because it's like a little bit me, then it's you, then it's you, and then it's me, and then it's, I mean, it's like, not that I'm gonna wear your clothes, but I just, you know, I'm a little confused what's going on right here. But what's up with the shoes? Because I thought, because all the sneakers the I have. That's the section you told me. I told you what? That you could have, that, that, that's that, my that, section. That was your section? that's less. Oh, that's not, really? Uh, who's, are you pregnant? I don't know, maybe. Mario is very particular with how he likes certain things. He is a control freak. He, th he says his, his world is chaotic, his life is chaotic, so the things he can't control, he likes to control. I'm tired. I'm th you know why I'm tired? Because you were snoring like a McCullough You're chainsaw so last night. <laughs> you act like you don't snore. You know how they always oh, blame the gosh. dog? Then maybe we should talk about what comes no. out of your butt and his butt. Oh, wait. <laughs> Because the competition there so is See, now fierce. she's trying to be funny. Do we want to talk about, can I do a demonstration of Masa then? This is spinning what? the night with Masa. She's <laughs> That's, I mean, if you want to put it out there, honey, if you want to put it, let's put it out there. See, sleeping with you done. is like sleeping done. in a tsunami because you sweat <laughs> so profusely oh and it's disgusting. It's because I'm stressed out because I can't go to sleep because of the snoring. So what's up with the... Uh, with the ultrasound today, I thought oh, we already yeah, got yeah. one. Oh, yeah, yeah, This is different because it's a 4D. Uh-huh, 4D. No, where you see like all the fine definition in the face. We could see if it has dimples. We could see if it has your big nostrils. Oh, thanks. We could see, I mean, everything we can see. It's gonna have to be like a headshot because we can't see the waist down because. I don't know if I want to do that though. We already, made, we already made the decision. No, but I've been thinking about it. I just, I really want to know the sex of the baby, but Mario has been trying to convince me to not know the sex of the baby, but it's really been bothering me because I want to know what's inside of me. I want to be able to prepare for it. Where else does life present itself with these types of moments? I've always wanted that moment where you can say, it's a, you're still gonna have it. No, I'm not, because yeah. I'm already gonna know. It's like knowing your present before Christmas. Come on, honey, it's, it's way better. If God wanted you to know, he would have made a window. Oh my gosh. I'm actually in the small minority in not wanting to find out. What if it's really a girl and it comes out like a tomboy and then it writes no, with no, his no, left that hand? No, won't have any, oh God forbid. <laughs> God forbid. All right, honey, I'm taking off. I'm gonna spar today. Mm. All right, I'll see you afterwards. Please be careful. I will love Please. you. And don't be late. I won't.
I love being with Masa and I love being with the family, but you gotta have the guy time. You gotta have a balance. Masa knows that I box, and she's not the biggest fan. I get very, very nervous. You know, if he would lose a tooth or get a black eye, it's just he's on camera every day. And now that we're having a family, it, it really worries me. Good stuff, oh. baby. Good job. Good work. Good boy. I met my good friend Tiffany and my other good friend Allie from college for lunch. So it's been a little hard living out here in LA because all my family is on the East Coast, but I have a lot of great girlfriends that I can turn to. Guys, I just realized how massive my boobs are right now. They're just like <laughs> sitting on the table. <laughs> Would you like boobies for your lunch? No. <laughs> have you done any sonograms yet? I haven't done the 4D yet. I'm going to. What comes up on that one? How is it different? It's, it's just so clear. I, I've, I know some people that have had it done, and they said that they have the picture of the 4D sonogram, and then when the baby comes out, it looks exactly like the picture. What do you think it is? When I first found out I was pregnant, I was putting toothpaste on my toothbrush, yeah. and it came out in the shape of a penis. <laughs> Literally. Came out in the shape of a penis. So that's why I think it's a boy. I'm not kidding. September 26, right? That's the due date. We got a few months. It doesn't really feel like I'm having a baby yet, yeah, in the sense that, because it's not there. Once oh. that boy starts crawling, forget about it. That's it. So right around. Wait, that's it. What? Then that's it. What? What do you mean? That's it. That's it. That's when your really life lady. will really just change. It'll be over. What do you Trust mean it'll me. be over? This isn't right. encouraging. So my buddies are trying to give me a hard time or scare me a little bit about becoming a dad. Seriously, you might have to give up sparring. For what? Dude, you're gonna have a baby. Masa's not gonna want you doing that. To be completely honest, it hasn't really hit me that I'm gonna be a father. Once that boy starts crawling, forget about it. That's it. So right around. Wait, that's it what? Then that's it what? What do you mean that's it? That's it. That's when your life will really just change. It'll be over. What do you mean it'll be over? This isn't well, encouraging. You know, trust me, Masa will be calling you. Forget it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, forget, like forget boxing, this and that. Yep. But do you, do you agree with me that it's cool that I'm waiting to find out what the yeah. gender of the baby yeah, is? It, it For makes sure. things more exciting, you know? It's, and either way, you want a healthy, happy baby. She's fighting me on it, so you know, you gotta choose your battles. But that one I think I wanna take a stand on because I wanna really, I had a surprise, you know? I mean, there's no more good surprises anymore. This is the yeah. ultimate surprise. I think. Why do you want to find out what you're getting for Christmas before Christmas? Yeah, I don't. You know what I'm saying? Right. See, even my boys agree with me that the sex of the baby should be kept a surprise. Hi. See, I told you I was on time. Shocker. Damn. How was it? Let me see. What? I was, it, was, it was intense, but I didn't get too banged up. Well, you know I wear that thing anyway, so. I don't care. You still get banged up. Wow. I was just reading about how you should teach your child how to say dad in other languages. Otosan, that's in Japanese. No, if it was Japanese, then it sounds like Otosan. Because you know how Japanese and Chinese are different? Chinese is a little more like bang bang dang. But, but Chinese is like It's much more. What? Intense. You, you never notice that? The differences in the Asian cultures? No? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. You no, know, babe, I was thinking, it's really important for me to find out the sex of the baby. Everyone's just saying how difficult it's gonna be to prepare, but, but, and I just, I want okay. you to hear me out. Just yeah, be on the same right, page ahead, with me. Ahead. I just really, it's really important to me, and as the days go on and the closer it gets to us having this baby, I just would feel better to be more prepared. The nursery, I don't want everything green. I don't understand what you're worried about. What do I do at the hospital? Do I have a, I have a boy outfit and a girl outfit just to, be safe to bring the baby home? Outfit? They're like hanging out naked. You put them in a towel? No. Whatever, you have one of each. Hat. One of each. I mean, I want you to be comfortable with this, but be excited with me too, you know? It's gonna be cool. Come on. I'll think about it. Are you Mario? Oh. oh. What's up? We're the big winners. <laughs> Thanks. It's gonna be in just a few minutes. Okay. okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Put on my little. This is nice. You got a little flat screen right here. Hi. Hi. How are you? You're first. How are you? How are you, Doc? Nice to see you. My pleasure, my pleasure. How are you feeling? Very excited. Feeling well? I got a 
Oh, you're, you're talking. Okay, go. Go ahead, Tom. I, mean, are, I wanted to jump in. What's happening? Yeah, I'm you sorry. Just... I'm interfering already. I had to take charge. Go ahead. I'll just shut up. Are you I'll talking to here. me or him? Of course I'm talking to you. Of course he's talking. You're the pregnant one. What was the question? How are you doing? Oh, yeah. good, good. Everything I feel good. Everything going well since I left? Yes. Okay, let's go peek a little bit today, huh? Yeah, I want to see it. All right, let's do that. Okay, before you do, that's where I wanted to jump in here. Before you do, I know we've been having this little debate about wanting to find out the sex of the baby, or, or not wanting to find out um, on my end, because, you know, I think it's one of life's greatest surprises, and she's arguing the fact, well, you know, you should embrace modern technology and take advantage of this to be prepared, but... The only person has the first choice is the mother. So she's got all the power? Can you she's say got that all again? the power. I don't think he heard you. She's got all the power. Oh. Because she's carrying the baby. When the doctor told me that I have all the power, I love that moment. I'm for the surprise. I know it's not gonna be like a real surprise, like, oh, it's a monkey. Oh, it's a prize. I know it's either a boy or a girl. You got a 50-50 <laughs> shot. But nonetheless, I just think it's kind of fun. Okay, ultimately, it's up to you, bottom line. But are you with me on this? Can we not find out? Okay, ultimately, it's up to you, bottom line. But are you with me on this? Can we not find out? I'd rather not find out. Are you cool with it? Just do like a little tight headshot. Yes? Fine. Yes. But if your hand slips, or if you just go to the other side of the baby. No, she know. said yes. Okay, thanks a lot, Doc. Big help. Fighting with him is like a broken record. I mean, oh I gosh, like I... You didn't have to say okay. You're making it sound like I just... Anybody that's ever had an argument with you will side with me. They can't really win with you. Well, I mean, you know. Even when you're wrong. That's on them. That's, it's because I make a good argument. Should have been a lawyer. All right. So let's go. I may need to turn the lights up a little bit. That's fantastic. So let's go take a peek. I think it's a boy anyway, but. See, I think it's a girl, but. There's a mouth open. Oh, see the eyes? Oh, big eyes. Big eyes. Got your eyes. Yeah, he does. Thank goodness. Yeah, oh, wow. Right. Let's get moved. Oh, my gosh. Let's just move, and then we can go mm. see the other one. There's the other one. That's cool. Wow, look at that. Look at there. that eye. It's hard to describe mm. when you see something so powerful as the image of your baby because you're, you're sort of proud and a little almost emotional. Like, wow, this is really happening and that's something I created. You're, you're anxious more than anything because you want to see it up close and personal. Is he winking? If he throws a thumbs up, I'm gonna He's a cool out. baby, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> this season on Mario Lopez Saved by the Baby. Hey, I'm Mario Lopez. Coming up, guess who just paid 10 mil for this New York duplex? How are you? I think it's you. You're awesome. Thank you. I think Mario has finally met his match. Mm -hmm. Love you. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought you just whip it, they go, and did you know you're gonna be really constipated before the baby comes? Babe! I don't have a backup for you, and it's a problem. Well, we've got about three trips coming up. What? I gotta go. Why? Because I'm calling me for um, Dr. Ruth Moore. You're not making me feel like I'm a priority. Why are you making me feel worse? I mean, are you gonna be far. here for the birth of our baby? Oh, come on, don't be silly. I should be there. I, I, I shouldn't have even left. Promise me that you'll always be there for me and the baby. Of course, why would you even say that? I may have just had a contraction. Are you gonna have the baby tonight? I'm in labor. Let's go, we gotta go. Is this really happening right now? What is it? What is it, Mario? It's a
What's up, baby? It's me, your dad. Just wanted to say hello and that I am very excited that you're coming. Even though I don't know what you are at this point, a boy, a girl, um, I'm really glad that your mom and I decided to wait and that it's gonna be a surprise, but I'm gonna love you no matter what. I will see you next time. Te quiero mucho.